Cruz here. Welcome back to another NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports. This next matchup, we are going to the West Coast. As we're about to see, the next one in the California State of this section, we've got the big ones here. It's the LA Showdown between the Los Angeles Lakers, and they are playing against the claw of Kawhi Leonard's Clippers. Now this game is a tense rival matchup that we are looking for. These two Pacific Division teams both play their home games in Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. This one also calls Hallway Series, or the Battle of LA. The Lakers was relocated from Minneapolis in the 1960s, while the Clippers moved from San Diego in 1984. Los Angeles fans have historically have favored the Lakers, while the Clippers have sold out or filled capacity for every home games at Staples Center since February 2011, and entered the 2016-17 season with the sixth longest active sellout streak in the NBA. The Lakers have won 12 of their 17 NBA championships since moving to Los Angeles. Meanwhile, the Clippers have made the playoffs only 11 times since 1984 and remain arguably the least successful professional sports franchise in North America and have never advanced past the second round of the playoffs until 2021. Well, that's what happens now. They don't do well enough here for the beginning, but in 2021, they got much better at it right away. Some commented that the team rivalry was inaccurate due to the Lakers' historical success and the Clippers, however, with historical lack of success. In 2012-13, the Clippers won the first of the six straight seasons series against the Lakers. Now, this is whatever happened. Luke Walton and Andrew Bynum. The guards of the Clippers of Al Forten in 2009. And one of the greatest players of the game is Kobe White. And the other side of the Clippers, you never guessed it, Chris Paul definitely played with the teams here before, before transferring over to Phoenix Suns on the other side before the Rockets play. Now I'm not really crazy enough of what this is going to be look like. We've got a great showdown range after New York. Then we move on to LA. <laughs> well, there might be one way that we might figure out, perhaps. Might be one change to another. But pretty soon, the Los Angeles Clippers are hosting a new arena in Inglewood, right by SoFi Stadium. And it's into a dome. And perhaps they are hosting the NBA All-Star in 2026. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe it if they are already building enough arena but what will they do with the Clippers? Well, they may never be able to do this, but they might relocate this from the Crypto.com to into a dome. Well, it'll be have to be plenty more years to come until the 10th season of the NBA 2K Sports. Next on the list I have it standing by, I have one of our favorites, Kevin Arlen, along with the 2K Sports crew, and David Aldridge on the sideline. And this part of the game, it's going to be a fun one for tonight. I also have one here for coming for the halftime show. We've got Irving Johnson, Kenny Jet Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. And now here's your starting lineups for your Los Angeles Lakers on the visiting team. D'Angelo Russell, Austin Reeves, Ryan Hachimura, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis. And on the Clippers side, we have is James Harden, Terrence Mann. Paul George of PG-13, the claw of Kawhi Leonard, and Evika Zubox. Now, let's get into LA. See you all later for the post-game show. After the fourth quarter's play. Introducing the Star Alliance for your LA Clippers. And shooting guard, 6.4. Number 14, Terrence Beck. That's it. Third foot off, number 40, Ivica Subox. The other guard, Standing. six point block, number one, James Harden. And small board, 
Base six four long. Number fifteen, Paul Shores. And four to ship. He's going to go to Ohio Leonard. Yeah, coach for the LA Clippers. On the end of the game. Nice roll loop.
first free throw is good. In Clark, for years, the Lakers have been the premier destination for free agents. Ain't that still the case now? I do. I mean, it's still Los Angeles. The history of the Lakers is one of the premier franchises in the league, along with the Celtics. So I think cap room is the driver, though. That's always the great equalizer in this day and age. And I think that helps keep some of the small market teams in the game as well. Hard no good. Lakers leading by four. Outside, Russell. Stolen by Harden. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. Nobody here, George. Three! Oh, George! He's got a pair of threes now in the first round. Um, James Harden. Here's Reeves. No scoring in this one. Here's Davis. In the layup. Yeah, but he Davis. But this round, though, Austin Reeves. So Timeout, LAC Clippers. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And the Clippers decide to take their first timeout here, coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. And you know what? If you're not going to outwork your opposition, then you typically are going to get outplayed. And here's the thing about this one here. I have a lot of the courtesy to go with this one. You know, the strange thing about this is because nobody has ever done it like this before. Is there a way that they're, they can handle it? I don't know if there is. But let me tell you, they're going to have a lot of hard time with the feeling and they need to do something else a favorite. Well, let's make it quick and fast and easy if they can try to like keep on going. Because you'll never know what's going to be up there three soon. I mean, you'll have to just wait and see. If something goes under it, you can't make them feel like you can't hurt them. So I'm feeling, and you don't know how to do this, I mean, you're going to have a little bit of a hard time if you're going to play here on offense. Because of that, it's going to be gone. You don't want that one to get away with that one. Back to you, Kevin Arlen. Your substitution here. Here's substitution old 4D Clippers. Number 10, Daniel Fikes. Number 0, Russell Westbrook. Number 24, Norman Powell. And number 44, Mason Bumley. He's checked in for LeBron. Torian Prince comes in for Rui Hachimura. Christy Sutton for Austin Reed. Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. Westbrook is dangerous from everywhere, and he seems to be quite comfortable operating in the mid-range, too. Westbrook against Russell. And off the left yeah, side. Russell. And rolls in for him. Russell's got nine. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. It's a three-point game. Powell misses to Westbrook. That's it go. The shot by Powell, no good. Lakers have gone 5-9 from the field here in the first. Here's Russell, and he drives in. The layup Two missed. minutes for the first quarter. Two minutes. Four. Two minutes. First quarter. Tice kicks to Plumlee. Back to Tice. And he There's it all. Dice. Mason Plumlee. With the assists. There's a minute 40 left here in the opening quarter. Pass to Davis. The dish to Russell. Boats it up for Davis. And Anthony Davis. 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 Angel Russell. All of the NBA than Davis for the alley -oop. To the wing right side. Tice kicks to West. Paul George for three. Now uh, Mason Plumley with the assist. 104 left here in the first quarter. Westbrook against Russell, and the call is going to be offensive foul on the Lakers. Abby Davis, number three, is first personal first team foul. Clippers ball. The team leaders in steals. You need to play these guys heads up. Fifth, the Clippers. You can't get careless with the basketball against this group. I mean, they'll pick your pocket and, and no 
little surprised to see them in the upper echelon as far as steals. Now here's Westbrook. Oh, Russell Westbrook. The game planning for Russell Westbrook is an absolute nightmare. There's just not much you can do to stop him. All you hope to do is slow him down. He's so fast. He's so strong. Everything he's so slowing him down. He's fast. Yes, no Russell. In this quarter, solid as a rock. Up top, Plumlee. He's started by Davis. There's Powell. Hangs Norman and Powell. Yeah, right when you thought that shot was leaving his hands, he reinvents it. The Lakers trail. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Pass it to Christian. Jacks up a three. Good. And it's so it's Christian. Three, three. He has his spot. He has his little muscle. Yeah, you look at Russell, one of the things I like most about his game is this guy has great vision and passing ability. Now Westbrook. And here is Powell over Christie. Powell. Norman Powell! Yeah, yeah. yeah in the first quarter. Clippers, 21! Like and Los Angeles Clippers, 40. To give you a little feel-good momentum. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for the L.A. Clippers. He delivered nine points from three-point range that quarter. Terrific work from distance. We come back right after this. And this has been a fairly close game for the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. To me, it's been the ball movement. That's been the key. I mean, going from good to great. Not settling for a good shot, making that extra pass, keeping the defense off balance, and taking great shots. Oh, man. That their mid-range jumper also has been on fire. Tough to beat a group of guys shooting with that much confidence. And low management, a term, Greg, that's been associated with the Clippers. And Kawhi rightfully managing his return from ACL injury with care. James Harden! It's all about staying. Paul George with the assists. So the Lakers five right now. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Down to the block. Every day. Davis. Davis. This is bro. Austin Reeves. This is why they feed Davis and Sal. I mean, they know how much of a beast he is down there. And he eats good. The Clippers in the lead. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Clippers have their sights set high. Coach Teron Lou says this is definitely a championship team, but it's not going to just come. We've got to put the work in. There's got to be a lot of sacrifices. If we come together and do the right things, we definitely have a chance. Kevin, yep, back to you. And David, he's a big reason yeah, why. Russell. Thanks so much. And this is what you get with a bigger guard. D'Angelo able to finish through contact. Now, here's Zubats. He's tightly guarded. A three! James Harden! Points in the quarter. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song. Back. And Anthony Davis. Davis. Points. That one goes. Wow, Davis on fire right now. Doing just about anything he wants on offense. Man passes to George. Paul George. Anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Now on Lakers, number 28, Ray Hachimura. His first personal foul. First team foul. No signs of slowing or cooling. at Clippers, number 13, Paul George. Clippers shooting their first free throw. Out of line. Christian Woods. One shot for the Lakers. New substitutional for the Lakers, number 35. Where are you, Christine? What's up? With the majority of the season behind us, GA, what becomes the focus for teams that have postseason aspirations? Kevin, ideally, this is the time of year that you want to be hitting your stride. So you have to make sure everyone is in the same goal. 
and they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now that they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Leonard. Still without a basket. Here's Zubac. And hey, good Zubac. Really the three half for the Clippers. A sometimes underrated playmaker. Leonard continues to do it all. Christian Wood. Is this what he's doing? He's an when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hey guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Here's Leonard. After the basket by the Lakers. Hold the oh, uh, Leonard. And the Clippers lead by three. Poetry in motion when Kawhi lets go from the mid range. LeBron James. James. And the top by LeBron. And, and for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Now, here's Leonard. His last outing, he had 18 points. Pass to George. Right side, Leonard. Shot clock at five. Wants to get to Zubox and does. Well, that's finishing the defense there. He made a good effort on that possession defensively, and then closed it out with the rebound. The drive by LeBron. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Hunter kicks to Hart. On the best of man. To the middle. And that oh, I litter! Got his second Aaron Terrence, man, with the assists. Great Leonard's focus, not even contact. Uh, Lakers, timeout. Great looking at the history of the Lakers. They always feel they're a title contender. And they get to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship round, LA, just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in the NBA history. Seems like it's a great day to have that one for the first half. A little bit of even strength here, right? The Lakers and the Clippers. We're seeing a lot of a great momentum out there, but we're hoping to see who can take off with this leadoff score when we get back into the second half. Coming up later will be the halftime show as we will have our next commentators, as I have Irving Johnson, Kenny and Jet Smith, and of course Shaquille O'Neal for our great coverage of the first half of the game. You know what happens? They don't get it up that easy that well because the Los Angeles Clippers really are looking back into the playoffs more than big times to pass through the second of the round of the game. They made it to the first round, but this time, let me show you what to explain this. This is what happens now. You don't get it up easily, and you don't want to make that one feel uncomfortable for them. We'll get to the second half. Uh, we'll get to the standings here for a little bit for the second half. Well, let's get back in the game. Kevin, all you. Your substitution old for the and Bones Island for, for James Harden for the Clippers. For the number 44, Mason Plumley. Number 24, Norman Powell. Christie against Powell pulls it from the elbow. Here they go. The Christie. The lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Christie. And that's definitely a shot. And number five, Eden Island. Right there, Island. Outside London. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. From 17 feet out, on Norman Powell. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Reeves, the pass to James. LeBron James. No involvement. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. LeBron James. First shooting at the line. The one. LeBron James. He's a divisional for the Lake Dorks. Jordan Hayes. Kevin, that in and of itself puts LeBron in rarefied air, no doubt. But when you're talking about the greatest player of all time, we all have our opinion. It's just so hard, I think, to effectively debate players across different eras. I just say there have been a ton of great players throughout the history of the game. LeBron 
is certainly at the top of the list, no matter when you play. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's going on. Austin Reeves. Contested this ball game. LeBron James. Yeah, both teams look like they came to play. He should have a good one. Astro Highland. Here's man. Already by Prince. Cherry Smith. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the tent. Right at it. Get to the rack. Down low. It's tipped. Out of bounds. Clippers ball. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for James Harden. And, and looking at his offensive numbers in the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Here's Highland. Hasn't made one yet. Powell oh, finds Leonard. Oh, Leonard! Norm, Norman Powell with the six. Their last 12 coming off the six. Defense! Here's James. LeBron James. LeBron. And the total package, James, is so much fun to watch. Outside Leonard. Back to Highland. Passes it through Leonard. There's 45 seconds left here in the second. Six on the shot clock. They grab their own miss. Nice hit again. And the Mason Mason Plumley. And the Clippers lead by three. Well, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. Pass to Christie. Now he is. And there's the pass to Reeves. Highland. Here's Hayes. The kick out to LeBron. Prince looking around. Tries again. And some That's the end of the first half of the period. The Los Angeles Clippers, 43. Three. Then the Lakers, 40. Standing by courtside, David. Here with Ty Lue. Good rhythm for your offense in the first half. What did you like about the start? Uh, moving the basketball, taking the right shot, and making the right play. We make the extra pass, we touch in the beat. And you were sure tough in the first half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play, everybody. Welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. Paul George taking care of business in this one. He had 12 points, two assists, and one rebound. So far, he's played a big role for his team here. Kenny, what do you think about the Clippers? You know every team talks about playing unselfishly. And in the first half, it didn't look like there was an ego on this team. Now, look at the receivers with the assist coach back up what we saw. And Shaq, what do you think about the Lakers? Their inside attack has been overwhelming. Hard to be so over the Guys are holding their role physically. They, they will keep pounding them. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. You've been watching the 2K Sports Cap Time Show. One, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been a clinic out there with D'Angelo Russell. He just loved the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And so here are the Clippers. Three-point lead. George and Leonard are the forwards. One way out there with Harden. And it's Zubac in at the center position. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Now, 
Well, here is Harden, trying to shoot, and two boxes. Oh, I let it for three! For the assist totals, Kevin. Rouse on the two bucks. First person to go far. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. LeBron against Leonard. James misses. Clippers win by six. Leonard gets to George. For three. LeBron grabs the miss. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. And now the NBA's all-time leading scorer. Sorry, LeBron did something most people thought would never be done. I'm in that camp, Greg. I tell you, Kareem was my guy. He was my idol as I was growing up. I never thought his record would be so fast. It just shows you how remarkable LeBron has been in his production, in preparation, in taking care of his body. And this guy is still going strong. That makes him the king. Here's Reeves. Driving inside. Pass to Hachimura. Kicks to Russell. Inside. Yes, he did it. This is his Roy. Roy Hachimura. He's terrific at finishing them off. Pass to Plumley. Harden. Surveying the D. Back to Plumley. Harden outside. Right side, George. Offensive rebound. Erika Zubac. Zubac has got the lead after six now for the Clippers. Toy Man. Oh, I love the Clippers. You've got to respect that. He's rewarded for his efforts in pursuing the ball. Timeout called the Lakers. You've heard people say it's a make or miss league. Does that hold true? It seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more with winning than possession stats, like turnovers or offensive rebounds. It, it's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but the ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. And we have a moment right now to check out the ultimate of this game of the standings of the Western Conference. We have a look over here right in between. Minnesota Wolves are still in first place at the mountain, but the tie has been ranged in between of OKC Funders and Clippers are inbounding right now. The Denver Nuggets are still looking for a chance to get back into the point guard in positions to get right into free. But this time, Minnesota still is trying to survey up here to go with the top of the mountain. And Sacramento Kings still under pressure. LA Clippers looking to play against the Golden State Warriors in the play-in tournaments. But there may not be anybody who really wants them here, so we'll have to find out who they are. Now let's get you back here to Kevin Harlan as we get to see who's going to be the next one. Kevin, who do you have now? Russell Westbrook's champion for Mason Plumlee. And New substitution for the LA Clippers. Number zero, Russell Westbrook. Leonard with the steal. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Hey there, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard continuing to work his way back to peak form after his ACL tear during the 2021 playoffs. He said, I missed a whole year of basketball. Christian Wood. anything for granted. I'm just trying to live in the moment and bring a sense of energy for the team. I'm still young, I'm a lot stronger, and I'm back. So, I'm happy. Kevin? Yeah, good to see you, D.A. Hey, thank you. James Harden for two. He made the two bucks with the assists. Get hard to look down low. That's good offense. Harden against Russell. Pass to Davis. Shoots over to Zubox. And it's Davis missing. For well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Hunter kicks to Harden. Good ball moving here by the Clippers. Russell Westbrook for three. Ball driving or pulling up off the dribble. You can catch and shoot it just as well. Outside, Russell. Six. A 
Clippers grab the miss. Leonard's got four rebounds now tonight. George passes to Zubats. Out to the right wing. Westbrook dishes guard. Offensive foul by James Harden. This is for the first goal foul. That goes ball. New substitution for the LA Clippers. They're no Lakers. Christy, sorry, Brits. Murray got you, bro. Norman Powell comes in for George. New substitution for the Clippers. New substitution for the Clippers. Daniel Putz. Christy subbed in for Austin Reed. Lakers trail by nine. Number 24, Norman Powell. Also with 13 points in the game. A pass to one. Misses for three. I'm shocked that he didn't turn it for three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And here's Leonard for three. Go on, Leonard! For three! This looks like a three game shoot around. With all the threes, Carolina. And the Lakers. LA Lakers. Timeout. They're trying to stem the tide here. They had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on and go on. The NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports is brought to you by Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. Your local community dealers, a moment that inspires. And by State Farm. Call or get a free quote now at 1-800-STATE-FARM. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We are getting in close right now, but right now let's have another look here. For next week, we will be seeing another two teams here for the Eastern Conference as we will be finding out who they are. And we have a great matchup for you. This one will be all for everything. For the international interdivisional, we have another one coming in down as we have the Knicks versus against the Pacers. Then for the Western Conference, we've got Lakers and Spurs. They're coming in right now, but we will see them pretty soon. Let's get back into the game. And check out some stats for D'Angelo Russell. He's been dominant over the last month. He's in the top 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating easy buckets for his teammates is such an asset. And he deserves credit for knocking down such a high percentage of his free throws. It's not a glamour part of the game, but incredibly important nonetheless. Now, here is Russell. 13 points in the game. Good. And it's blocked. Pass to Westbrook. Russell Westbrook from James Harden with the assists. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Clippers. They've been so aggressive getting out on shooters all game long. Nothing's getting past this defense. And that Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. Christian Warren. From D'Angelo Russell. Has been paying off. Making the right choice there. I mean, Russell, this is what scouts like about it. This feel, that intuitive feel for the game. And you know, Clark, it, it wasn't an easy first few years in the league for Christian Wood. You know, sometimes the hard road is the more productive road. Russell Westbrook! In his first four seasons, Greg, but in his fifth year, he found his group. And sometimes it takes a little longer for the big guys to find their way. Here is Russell. Following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Here's Wood. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Powell kicks to Westbrook. Harden trying to get open. And it's Russell Westbrook for two. Westbrook's got uh, Norman Powell with the assist. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They trail by 16. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That game is the first and last of their home Out of bounds. Lakers ball. Last touch by Tennis. New substitutional for the LA Clippers. Number 14. This is Terrence May. 
new substitution of Point of LA Lakers, number 11, number 8. Prince outside. Again, the miss by the Lakers. On offense here are the Clippers. They're on a 19 to 6 run. Out to the wing. Here's Mann. And it's Russell with the rebound. Lakers trail by 16. This is it to Christian. Prince kicks to Hayes. Back to Prince. Powell pulls it in. Outside Westbrook. Here's Powell. Back to Westbrook. Launches it from deep. That's the end of the third quarter. Los Angeles Clippers, 62. LA Lakers, 44. Field goal percentage event for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Four quarters coming up after this. LA Showdown will continue after this message. It's time to bring out the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the deep wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. It's the fourth quarter. So let me hear it's a noise. Fun contest. So for the Lakers right now. Down to the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Then there's Christie, then there's Prince. And it's Reeves in at the point guard position. Here's Highland. George against Prince. Oh, George for two. He's up on the board here in the fourth for the Clippers. Now LeBron. Offensive foul. Now Anthony Davis, his second personal foul. New substitutional for the Clippers, number 44, Mason Plumley. For the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And the Clippers making a change here. Plumley's checked in. Here's Mann. Back to Highland. From D. George. The Clippers rebound. Pass to Mann. 6 to shoot, takes a 3, and Paul George for 3! It's now this the chemistry. Barrett's man with the assists. With their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding pass. Four straight field goals have been made off of the Davis. That one, good. Using that length, Davis turning a miss into a make. Bonus points for his team. The pass to Zubats. Back to Highland. Man passes to Highland. Here's Man, defended by Christie. Here's Plumley, rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Very Christie. Looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. I agree. He is smooth as silk, even at a power finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and power. That's the Plumley. And that foul on the Lakers. LeBron James. His first personal foul. First team foul. First team foul. First team foul. And a line for the Clippers. Mason Plumley. Two shots. And that one misses. And the Clippers making a change here. Harden's checked in. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for the Lakers. Oh. 
Second free throw, no good. So Clark, we know you're very familiar with the college game. How do you think the one and done rule has worked out so far? Kevin Davis needs his throw to Brian James. The Night Clippers timeout. Guys like Durant and others playing college for a year was better than not having them there. But I think it's also created this expectation that if you're not a one and done, that you somehow failed. And that's um, detrimental to the psyche of young players. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Couple minutes right now, we'll be right back with you after this. All back in, fueled and ready to go. Let's get you back to Kevin Arlen. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, guys, over the break, I was able to listen to Teron Lou's huddle. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. Keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Thank you, David. Ball, George, number two. Feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Passes it to James. A put that. Oh, LeBron James. Oh, on the put back. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You've got to play with some physicality in the paint. A nice ball movement by the Clippers. No good from Zubats. You know, even though they're on top of this, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. He sure would make things a lot easier, too. Now, here's LeBron. And out of bounds. Clippers ball. That is just a careless problem. Here's a position for the Clippers. Number two, Kawhi Leonard. Clippers leading by 15. And here's Hart. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. George finds your box. Just five on the clock. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. No other way to put it. Just a poor call. Oh, yes. Austin Reeves. This the boy. LeBron James. LeBron doing what he does best. Creating four and elevating others. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Pass to Leonard. It's George on the wing. Defended by Prince. Harden, no good. The Lakers on offense. They've outscored him 10 points to 2 during this run. Reed. Austin Reeves is his boss. Man, LeBron James. One of the best front court playmakers. That is something you just can't teach. Harden gets to George. Back to Harden. Outside Leonard. The pass to Harden. Off of the ball and Lakers. Four on Leather. That's the second horse goal. Use of the Juice Door. For the Clippers, number 24. Norman Bow. Years ago, but not in the way. Now you've got to be stationary. Watch the screen. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call. Mans checked in for the Clippers. And the Lakers also making a change. Hachi Murray's checked in for Torian Prince. Here's James, and the Colts on the shot. Boy, look, he's for a personal foul. So physically powerful, tough task to defend LeBron inside. And the other line for Lakers, LeBron James. Dead line for two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Now over two decades playing in the league, LeBron James continues to play at an amazing level. Remarkable. Yeah. 
and both free throws good for LeBron. Five out, LA Clippers. All time here. Well, it's been an express lead to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell him simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. So it seems like we're going to be seeing what the next game will be. Clippers are battling it in between, leading by nine. But absolutely, we are just trying to see what else can it be. This Southeast is definitely heat and magic, but the other teams don't have any rivals. They're not that good enough to try to like keep on day going. We might be seeing what's going to happen. It might be the interconference fire police by Celtics and the Lakers, Cavs and the Warriors, Lakers and Pistons, and of your course, the ultimate of this game has already been spotted, the Sixers and the Lakers. We never know what's going to be coming in there, but this might be our weakest alone do. We're not sure who well, else will be. Maybe Toronto Raptors may be playing against the Nets. You'll never know what comes in, but the inter internal division of this series can be a hard one to take. Well, as of right now, this one's coming down to the wire. Post game show will be underway soon, so keep your eyes peeled. Back to you, Kevin. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Paul George. They continued to feed him throughout the game, and with good reason. They realized he was hot, had the hot hand, and they wanted to ride that. And he refuses to let them down, coming through at every turn. Coming into this game, he'd been having a tough stretch, we all know that, but not anymore. He's back at his best, and I think it's safe to say that slump is over. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. Man. He kicks it on. Rocket six. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. George, that's a two pointer. Oh, Paul George for two. Puts it all together like this. Let's Paul George for two. Puts it up for Davis. Anthony Davis. He oh, sees the ball. LeBron James. And put it in the alley oop textbook, boys. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. And a nice touch on the fender. Harden picks the George. Back to Harden. Passes it to Zubox. Out to the right wing. Releases from 15. Man can't hit. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 16 to 4 run. Here's Russell. Passes to Leonard. 112 left in the fourth quarter of this one. To the inside. George. Oh, George! The two! In the second. Gary Tran, 56. have enough to overcome this deficit. Chalk up this game as a fantastic victory for the Clippers. If they had to battle for this one, there were times when it looked like it was. Skipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to. And, and that's a product of their mental toughness. Any time the floor of the game turned against them, instead of caving, they just dialed it up a notch and were able to pull away. And this will make it 36 wins on the year for them. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for George. Well, from a scoring standpoint, he was absolutely sensational. Ebony he did. Was easy tonight. Yeah, he's been hooping. The rest of the team, not so much. Seven second difference, shot and game clock, kicks it to George. Harden outside. Back to George. And stolen by LeBron. And here we go, fast break. LeBron's got it. And here's Davis for three. That one misses. And that's the end of the game. Your final score, this Laker Clippers 73 and Lakers 64. Of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a miss.
so that they just didn't allow it to fester, and that's why they're going to walk away and take the win. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, PG. Congratulations coming into the game. What was the focal point? Defense. I mean, we still allow too many points. Uh, we got to get better on defense. That was the emphasis coming into today. Defense. Uh, it's an area we got to improve. Uh, but tonight, our offense got us over the hump. Any way you get the job is the good way. So, congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long. All right. Thank you so much, sir, Kevin. And this was a fantastic first half. And then the blowout starts for the third quarter of the LA Clippers. Let's see how they did here with the team comparison. There was 58 and 40% for the field, field goals and three-pointers for the LA Clippers. Only 83 throws for the Lakers. Nine for Clippers on the fast break points. 52 and nine was the points in paint and second chance points for the LA Clippers for the Lakers. Then 23 and 26 for bench points and assists was Los Angeles Clippers. 10 for Lakers on offense rebounds. 20 for the Clippers for the defense rebound. Three steals were given for Lakers and five blocks has been denied on this one. The perfect strength. Nobody had an offense to take over with the defense here, and there should have been a block for Anthony Davis on the other side, and James, too. Five turnovers was only the Clippers. Two team fouls was on Lakers. Twelve dunks were performed for the Lakers. Twenty-one and fifteen forty-two was a time of possession and biggest lead for the Clippers. Well done with the game of the L.A. showdown. We're hoping to see them return for the NBA playoffs. We'll see how this one goes. And right now, here's your three star players of the game. For the start of this, this one, we are going to give a good look to start from here for Russell Westbrook with 13 points, a trade pin from the Lakers to the Clippers, and also with one rebound. He only had six out of eight field goal range, one three pointer. 16 performance throw was a perfect altitude to take all of his response, and definitely that one occasional too. Number two, we go to Anthony Davis. He only had a steal, but not for long, with three dunks in the range for the alley-oop and all alone. With that one, 11 out of 14 field goals remained. No three-pointers were given here. When only 11 rebounds and 22 points. That was amazing. He's done best, but you got to watch out for the center of him. If you're going to guard him, you've got to take all your credits. And your first star player, New Balance player of the game, Paul George, 23 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, 9 out of 12 field goal range, only made 4 3-pointers. That was 27 performances of the effort. A great dish up from Kawhi Leonard, he did a great. That is it for the LA Showdown, we're hoping to see more for the NBA rival weeks before the playoff begins, and I hope that you all enjoy too. If you like it so far, feel free to subscribe to this channel on Son of Beast and check out the, the additional informational of the social medias on X, Instagram, and TikTok. Links are in the about page. Be sure to like the video and comment down below if you have any recommendation if you want to do this in between. Son of Beast will be happy to be appreciating you in between with reaction, games, and definitely the skit too, of course. So with that, I hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you all again next time. Peace out for a while as the NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports Style. Thanks for watching, and Terry Crews is out. See you later, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.